Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a follow-up on that Lionel 50 gang car. Got it cleaned up a bit. It didn't clean up as well as I was hoping it would. But then again, it's almost 70 years old. But it did clean up. It's lubed and running really, really well. So, I just want to do a follow-up video. As you see, running much, much better. Just lubricating it made a tremendous difference. As you can see. It's actually running quite well. No problems with this at all. So it runs nice. It's more than respectable. That's about 40% power. So running well. It looks all right. It is intact. It's complete. Except for the uh, two missing men on the uh, shell itself. But uh, I'm happy with it. It was definitely worth the 10 bucks. It runs nice. Didn't really have to do much to it. Uh, lubrication and that was really it. Uh, cleaned the brushes and this is running really well. Just takes off like a rocket. Again, that's about 40% power. So that's more than fast enough. Changes uh, direction with no problem at all, no glitches. Runs the same speed in both directions. So as you see, it was worth the 10 bucks. There's no doubt about that. This thing had been sitting for years. It's had lots and lots of runtime as well. But the neat thing about it is that it's running and it's running perfectly. So I'm really happy with this. I wanted a gang car. What I'm going to do with it now that I have one, I have no idea. I mean, it's totally impractical. It doesn't do anything except go back and forth. It can't pull a load. It can't do really much of anything. And uh, it has the two missing men on the uh, shell. But I can replace them or not. Likely I won't. I would imagine they'll probably cost more than the uh, uh, gang car itself did. But it uh, runs nice. It uh, is uh, actually quite smooth, it's powerful, and best of all, of course, it was cheap. This is running just absolutely perfectly. You couldn't ask it to run better than this. And there's no problem with the directional control. So. Now that I have it, what am I going to do with it? I have absolutely no idea. But for 10 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. The interesting thing is, why no one else bid on this? I mean, it was $10. And uh, whether it was going to run or not, who knew? Uh, it said in the description that it ran. So I figured, what the heck, take a chance. It was worth the $10, so I went ahead and put the bid on it, expecting to get outbid every single day. And uh, checked back, watched the countdown, expecting to get sniped at the last 10 seconds. No one else bid on this. Only me. I have absolutely no idea why. But in any case, if you uh, go on eBay and you look at these things, they're expensive. And you can find one for $29.95, but there are a lot of them are $40, $50, $60. Bucks. And uh, like I said, I've been wanting one, but I wasn't going to spend that much money for it. But in any case, I just wanted to do a, a quick follow-up video on this. It is running just absolutely splendidly. There's no problem with this at all. It had been sitting for a very, very long time. But as you see, it runs nice, it's smooth, it's quiet, it's powerful. No problem with it at all. Other than the uh, two missing men on uh, the car itself. So, I cleaned it up a bit and... Uh, like I said, I was expecting it to clean up better than it did, but again, it's 70 years old. And uh, scrubbed it with a brush, and it's still, uh, the plastic itself is discolored. But even so, it's up and running, and running just absolutely perfectly. So, you couldn't ask it to run better, so I'm really pleased with it. It was cheap, didn't take uh, any effort at all to get it running, it didn't have to do anything to it at all, except lubricate it, really.
clean the brushes and as you see it was definitely worth the 10 bucks there's no doubt about that this is running really really well with no problems at all so it's an interesting little locomotive if you want to call it that so now it's just a matter of what am I going to do with it. I have no idea. I could just set up a straight rail and have it run back and forth diagonally across the uh, center of the layout, I suppose. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. For now, I'm just going to run it, play with it, see what it's capable of, see what it, uh, how it works. But uh, it's actually in quite good condition. It's had a lot of run time, as you can see. Big major groove in that contactor. But uh, it is up and running with no problem at all. That's the neat thing about it. None at all. There's no problem with this of any kind. So am I going to replace the two missing men? Very likely not. I would imagine the two uh, men will cost as much as the uh, car did itself. So a Lionel 50 gang car, 1954. And uh, this is uh, a variation C. I looked it up. It has blue bumpers on it. And it runs absolutely splendidly. I had, didn't have to do anything to it except clean it, really. Lubricate it, and uh, now it just needs to run. So I'll be running it the rest of the day. This is that 595. I got it running. I have two more motors coming very likely tomorrow. A Lionel motor and another Marks motor. I got both of them for 6 bucks. And then I have a surprise coming, hopefully at the end of the week. And if I can get that to work, it's going to be a really, really interesting video. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, just a quick follow-up on this Lionel 50 gang car. Up and running. And running just absolutely perfectly. Ten bucks on eBay and I was the only bidder. Really difficult to beat that. Again, I have absolutely no idea why. But I can find absolutely nothing wrong with this. It's intact, it's complete. It's had a lot of run time, but even so, considering it's 66 years old, and I'm sure it's running as well as it did when it came out of the factory. So a quick follow-up. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.